always from the heart of the city and now on demand 24 7 on the chfi website this is the soundtrack to accompany a wisp of fragrance and i'm don jackson around the world on the internet it was rilke who wrote how many times i have seen you in a perfumed jewel box beside a lover's lock or in a beloved book that one rereads alone this hour the perfumers art with lovers and author strangers from itunes and chfi.com breathing your perfume chills me steve winwood my love's leaving and the classics four with traces and i'm don jackson with lovers and other strangers from itunes and chfi.com thomas moore wrote you may break you may shatter the vase if you will but the scent of the roses will hang round it still this information to begin comes from a very old edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica. The word perfume comes from the Latin word fumus, meaning smoke. This would indicate that the earliest way of making a pleasant odor was by burning odorous woods, gums, and leaves. The love of perfume is probably as old as the human race. Vases containing oily pastes have been found in Egyptian tombs 5,000 years old. They were still faintly fragrant. A Fragrant Hour with lovers and other strangers from iTunes and chfi.com. Taylor Swift with a love story. Colby Calais, all bubbly, and Jane with the ladies. And I'm Don Jackson with lovers and other strangers from iTunes and chfi.com. As it said in this very old encyclopedia, early perfumes were chiefly made from odorous resins, balsams, leaves, spices, and the wood of such trees as sandalwood, camphor, and cinnamon. The Crusaders, on their return from the Orient, brought presents of various scents and perfumes. It was during the period of the Crusades that many new products and arts were introduced into Europe. Among these was the method of preparing the volatile oils of flowers and spices by distillation with water. One of the earliest perfumes was the exquisite attar or otto of rose. This was first obtained by the Persians in the 9th century AD as a, a byproduct of the preparation of rose water. From the Orient, the art of distilling flowers and spices for perfumes traveled to Italy and the rest of Europe. Lovers and other strangers from iTunes and chfi.com. Temptations with my girl. Nora Jones, come away with me and Beth Midler with the rose. And I'm Don Jackson with lovers and other strangers from iTunes and chfi.com. This is a poem that was included in the 1977 edition of the Friendship Book of Francis Gay, published by D.C. Thompson and Company. How eager are my roses that their faces I should see. They climb around my cottage porch in wild profusion free. I've trimmed and tended them with care. Their beauty now repays. I have a feast of perfumed glory 
through the longest days. The days of summer roses are the best of all the year, but I can see their beauty. All my worries disappear. Perfection rarely touches human form with every grace. A rose has heaven's glory shining in its lovely face. Lovers and other strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com. Alicia Keys, If I Ain't Got You, and Seals, Kiss from a Rose. And I'm Don Jackson with Lovers and Other Strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com. Last week, I featured a program about fragrance. This hour is a follow-up, a lingering scent, if you will. I ran across this called A Perfume for Your Heart in the March 1990 issue of Victoria Magazine, and I quote, When a woman discovers a perfume that truly resonates with her soul, Magic inevitably transpires. She has found what the experts call a heart note. This mysterious quality is actually a fragrance's second impression. A hallmark of character that comes through in the first hour a perfume is worn. After its theatrical top note has faded. It is this deeper fragrance that reveals the true woman that explains why certain perfumes, ones that seemed enticing at first whiff, sit idly on her vanity while she reaches instinctively for others that wordlessly convey the essence of her soul. Like love, finding a perfume with the right heart note is not a scientific pursuit. However, if you are sensitive to the language of flowers, you can decipher the enchantment of heart notes. Unquote. Lovers and other strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com. Fergie and big girls don't cry and lights to drive my soul. And I'm Don Jackson with lovers and other strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com. And speaking of the lingering effects of perfumes and other scents, consider this truth from the Avon Calendar of Roses from some years back. And I quote, The legendary Josephine is said to have so saturated her private rooms at Malmaison that almost 200 years later, the smell of roses still lingers. Lovers and other strangers, from iTunes and CHFI.com. Good night, sweet dreams. I'm Don Jackson. <laughs>